Hey guys, hey, I see you in the mirror there. We're gonna be working on this shelf here for today's Minimalist Monday. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna be putting on this, but I know that we're just gonna be consolidating our work stuff, our work supplies, which is like that, 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 and those are gonna be uh, going out. So down here is a bunch of plant books, up here is a bunch of nutrition books. So those are just gonna get consolidated into our bookshelf out there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start moving everything off. Just wanted to let you know what I was up to first and what we're gonna be doing. And then the fun part, after I get everything cleared off, I'll be kind of figuring out what to put up here and how to display it and we'll just see how it goes. These, these are journals. Um, let me keep my journals separate. Yeah, but the books are gonna get sorted away, but journals are gonna stay in All of these. Gems, gemstones. the shelf a quick wipe down with my microfiber cloth and a little bit of vinegar and water. The weirdest thing about monsoons is that it's pouring rain but it's still warm out. Um, ooh. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day. We're going to be working on the shelf. It's bright and sunny right now, so I'm going to take advantage of this morning getting this all done. So since I'm switching up this room from more of a work and office space to now more of a personal space, I'm going to be doing kind of like my vanity setup on that side of the room. And then this is going to be more dedicated to personal belongings, like, you know, accessories or maybe a little bit of beauty products. I don't know. I'm going to see what kind of what we can come up with here. I got an idea of the structure and the color palette that I want to do and then it's just a matter of pulling items to see what would sort of fit into that. So um, let's go ahead and start with one thing that I know I want to put back up on the shelf that was up here already. So I know I want to put this necklace bust back where it was. I just like the spot that it was and it just fit in really well. Um, I will be switching pieces off of here because I always kind of change up the bust, you know, depending on what pieces I'm sort of into. And I will, you know, put away certain pieces and bring other ones out. Or if I make new things, then sometimes I like to have the new ones out and on display. And then I'm a huge fan of crystals and gemstones. So I love fossils. And in fact, I love the combination of like glam crystals, you know, quartz crystal, just the plain white ones mixed or clear mixed with the kind of old earth fossils. You know, this is an ammonite. But for now, I'm just going to put the fossil up here. So the color palette that I want to use for this is inspired by the islands in Greece, so like Santorini. It's very white, you know, there's those famous pictures of it where you can see all the buildings and you know, like little hotels and homes and stuff down the side of the mountain and it goes right down to the ocean. And there's some little pops of color, but it's mostly blue and white is Santorini's kind of color combo, you know, their color palette. So I wanted to, I was really inspired by that. It's one of my dreams to like go there one day to Greece and go see that, although it's probably overrun by now because it's been like overdone on Instagram, uh, you know, Santorini, but it is still one of my dreams to hopefully one day make it there and get to see it in person and just take in like all of those beautiful calming colors and the ocean and everything is just, just lovely. One thing I'm gonna do is incorporate natural textures. So I've got that natural texture of the wooden bust and I'm gonna combine it with a basket here. I got this one, this is the one that had the pink balls on it. Uh, that I showed you guys in a previous vlog just recently. So I removed those little pink pom-poms off of this and I did buy this for a plant to use as like a decorative plant pot uh, for my Monstera Deliciosa out there. I recently repotted it just about two days ago and realized that the root ball was so large on it that it, it needed to be up potted and it would not it would no longer fit in this basket. So I thought, um, and since it's not gonna have a plant living in it, how about I store accessories like scarves, beanies, gloves, um, and I think they'll, you know, even though they're knitted, it's not like the type of basket where it's gonna be catching on that. So I think this will work out good for that. So I've got some fuzzy scarves here. Where's this one from? Sonoma Life and Style. I don't know who sells that, but I got this at, uh, I loved the colors of it. It's like this light, like light pink gray cream um so i got that at a thrift store here when i first moved to tucson so what i'll do is just roll up the scarves and 
I know that it's still summertime, so some of you guys might be thinking um, scarves, gloves, and beanies. <laughs> Dear, why are you thinking about that stuff during summertime? I know, I know it's only August right now, but I'm thinking ahead and I love winter so much here in the desert. You, you get that coolness in the air, a cool crispness, and this huge blue sky, like cloudless blue sky, and the mountains are all crisp. It's, it's just really refreshing, you know? So that one, I'm just folding in half, folding in half again. So basically the same way as the infinity scarf and just rolling it up. So there we go, it keeps it fairly neat and tidy in there. So at least I can see, you know, they don't get too jumbled up in there all together. And I've got this little lightweight scarf, which is really just, it's not for warmth or anything. I usually use that in my hair though, I, when I tie my hair up as like a headband. You know, I got two beanies here. These are a couple of my favorite finds in Tucson. We got these at the downtown uh, second Saturday show that happens downtown in Tucson. There's all kinds of cool art down there and products that people hand make. And so I came across this booth that this, this older woman had made, you know, a few beanies and she had like some other stuff that she crocheted. I still kick myself for not purchasing more of her stuff because I've never been able to find her again. It was only that once. And she sold these to me for five bucks and they're so cute. I love these so much. I, I love hats and beanies and Yes, it's 100 degrees and I'm sweating, but I'm putting this on anyway. I, they just bring me such joy. That's something, when you're going through your stuff and you're decluttering, if you get that sort of reaction to something, like that is literal sparking of joy happening, where you just like, you get overwhelmed with excitement over something, you know? So I'm gonna put these right in the side here. So those are all my scarves, beanies, and soon to be, I will search for a pair of gloves and then those will be in there too. And we're gonna put this right down here. So same or similar items, I will keep offset or in a triangle. So we're gonna do another item that's kind of textural up here too. I think I'm gonna put my handbag up here though. So let me, actually let me grab it right now. Let's grab this one. I've got two main handbags that I use and they are my favorite handbags that I've ever owned in my life, particularly this one. So it's made in Portugal and there is the brand there made by Corker in Portugal. So aside from the design, the main reason that I love this bag is that it's made entirely out of cork and it's durable. I just love cork so much and it's the perfect leather replacement. I'll show you the other one too, but this one is the one that I use almost every single day. So that one we're gonna put up here. This is the other one also by the same brand, Corker, and it's got a different pattern on it. You can see it's got kind of more striations. I can't remember if they call this, that one is natural, I think. I think this one might be like natural zebra, something like that. I'd have to look on their website again. But I like the, the combination with the dark, you know, the two-tone, the darker brown handles. And those, the, I mean, that totally, it totally looks like leather which is crazy, like it even has the texture and everything. I just love, I love cork so much. And I've got the wallet too, which matches this bag. So I'm gonna set this one down here. Oh, you know what? Let's, I'm gonna set this a little off to the side there and leave an open space because I might put something else there. The next thing I'm gonna put up here is a hat. So let me grab that. I'm just gonna temporarily set my Rose Quartz bookends up here and use those as a temporary, um, hat holder so it kind of lifts it up so it doesn't smash its, its brim. I love this hat. This is from Wallaroo. And I wish I could remember, oh, Milan. Okay, oh, I'm so glad that they put that. They have the name, the style name on the tag. So I'm so glad they had that in there. But I love, I love hats. Actually right up here is where you can have a lot of trouble with hyperpigmentation happening because it's just the high point. And also the forehead too, like the top of your forehead can get really um, you know, patchy really easily. So you're doing your skincare routine, but then when you're going out, if you're not protecting these areas, these high points of your face, then you can, the hyperpigmentation comes right back and you gotta, it's like this continuous vicious circle that you're trying to fight with your skincare, you know? So I love to have an uh, actual physical sun, sun hat when I'm going out, when I'm out scouting for lizards and photographing or something out in the desert. Oh, what is that one's name? That one is Nina. By the way, that one's that one's another really nice sun hat. But yes, the Wallaroo hats. Love Milan from Wallaroo. That one, that is another thing that sparks joy right there. A good, a good sun hat. Um, with a really big brim. Like the bigger 
the better, you know, like just cover everything. The acrylic boxes that I had up here before, I'm gonna put those back up here. I'm just gonna change up what's in, except for this one. That one, I love it exactly how it is. It has all my, my Larimar jewelry and my uh, white fossil uh, ceramic watch and some Larimar pieces that I'm gonna turn into jewelry sometime. So um, I've got some rings in there and a little bit of amber and Kazakhstan turquoise. So I'm putting that back up there because I love that color combination, the white and blue of the Larimar. Matches kind of this this scene going on here with the bust. And if you're looking for acrylic boxes, these are really nice ones. And I got these at Home Goods at the beginning of the year, but I've seen them in there since. So they do get like new sets of them every once in a while. And so this one, I just put my sunglasses, and I only have a couple. Well, I've got three pairs of sunglasses. One is in my purse, and I've got my Jord watch. Also, I've got a little cork wallet in here that was a DIY. Yeah, I still use the cork DIY projects that we did. And I would actually do some more because I love cork so much, as, as you can tell by the cork purses and bags. So this little setup here is going to go right here. In here, I've got some of my perfumes. Um, well, these are all my perfumes, actually. I've got two Bootsy oils. Tropique is one of my favorites. There's a pink one that she makes too, and these are handmade in Maui, which is how I first discovered uh, Bootsy. And I was I was shopping in her store. She has a store in Wailea, which now she has a beautiful art gallery down there. But um, it, anyway, I'll put her information down below if you guys want to find her website, but she makes delicious fragrances. It's so good. Uh, but all of them smell like dessert and just yummy deliciousness and you want to bathe in it, you know? Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar, another longtime favorite perfume. So I've got my perfumes in there and then I've got a couple of favorite lipsticks that are newer purchases. Uh, these are from Tarte. The colors are awesome. I've got Rum Punch and Colada are my two favorites. And then I've got two of these, which you guys probably can't see, but these are from Cover Effects. These are called the Monochromatic Bronzer Duo and Monochromatic Blush Duo. I won't go through these right now. I just want to let you guys know what I have in here. So those are newer purchases that I have in here. And then I've got Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is their Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I like the color combination and I like to have some of my newer makeup out where I can see it, where it's kind of on display and then I can kind of pluck it out of there and feel like I'm shopping my own collection. You know, it's just nice to appreciate the new items you purchase instead of, you know, maybe like getting something new and then it disappears into your stash in a drawer and you don't see it again or you forget about it or something. So kind of nice to just have a little curated space so you can enjoy new items or items in pretty packaging that just makes you feel good to see. So I'm gonna set this right up here. Okay, right here I got three empty spots. Bang, bang, bang. Offset from each other. Those are gonna be for clothing. So I went through my collection, pulled out some of my favorite clothing in the color palette that I'm using up here. So I've got a stack of leggings here, yoga pants. Um, some of my absolute favorite ones to wear that I reach for all the time. So we're gonna put these right up here, top shelf. And then I've got some of my favorite sweaters that I'm gonna put right here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little stack of shirts down here. I'm just getting them folded up. Um, so these are just some shirts that I wear a lot, like the tech gear type of shirts, like really lightweight, good for hiking. I've got a couple of tank tops in there from Lululemon that are super, super good for summertime here to help keep you cool, which I'm wearing one of those right now. But yeah, these, these have been awesome. So I'm gonna put those down here. I've got one more acrylic box. I wasn't sure what I was gonna put in here, but I think for now, I'm just gonna put some of my favorite nail polishes that I wear a lot and I'll pull some that tie together with the color palette too. So I tend to wear white a lot, so I'm gonna put some from London Town Lacquer. I've got one of, uh, this is Duchess, one of my favorite whites from them. And then I've got some of their blue colors that are beautiful. Amalfi, Amalfi Love, sorry, I was saying that wrong. Um, this one is Dainty Days, so we'll just get some of the blues in there. And then let's throw some nude in there too. Monty, the full Monty, Cheerio, and from Zoya, I've got Purity and Snow White and Adele and what is this, Lucy? Yeah, okay. I've got some crystals that I had in here before and I'm just leaving those in here. It's just uh, some Tibetan double terminated quartz crystals. Okay, so I'm stacking those two boxes together. Okay, I think that's gonna work. There's one other thing that I'm gonna add to this wall though. Uh, wait, well maybe, maybe two. Okay, one of them is gonna be this plant here. I know it's a little weepy right now, it's a little dehydrated, and I just repotted it so it will perk back up and I'm gonna be watering it again today. But um, I adopted it from a little estate sale up the street. They were having, um, the people had inher inherited the house and so Michael and I were out garage sale and we came across it 
and we were in there looking, but by the time we got there, almost everything had already sold. And so I, I saw this plant though in the corner, in like the, the dark corner of the kitchen, no light or anything in there. And I was like, oh, how much, how much is your plant? Because I didn't see a tag on it or anything. And she was like, oh, you like the plant? You can, you can just have it. And I was like, so excited because I love, I love plants and dracaenas particularly are really beautiful house plants because they can add a nice vertical element but they're super easy to take care of. They're way easier to have indoors compared to like palms, which are also really beautiful, you know, foliage wise to have in the house. But Dracaenas can give you a similar kind of look, but they're like super, super easy and they live for forever inside the house. So it's repotted in just a large black nursery pot. And it's got a, it's got a saucer down in here and I got this basket at Home Goods. So what I'm gonna do is Move it over to this side. Put it right on this side for now. I know I've got to trim some of the brown tips off the leaves, but I'm, I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, how does that look? I just want to see how, how it looks in the space. I also got a hamper that I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Okay, so this is the hamper that I got. It's just a tall, like, it's like an extra tall basket. I got this at Home Goods. And I was originally gonna put it right by the door here, but now I'm not sure if it's gonna look like there's too much going on on this wall, but I, let's see. I don't know, it might be too much having two large baskets against the one wall, I don't know. I, I mostly just wanna see like, where is it functional, you know, to have my hamper, so it might be more functional. Well, I've got this door here, so it's not like I have like another good wall to have against. I can have it right like by the back door right next to my dresser or who knows maybe i'll find a hamper with a top on it which is what i was originally going for but i uh, i haven't found one yet and i could always use that for another like large plant or something so who knows everything is flexible nothing has to stay the same including the plant i'm not sure if that's going to be happy there or not so i'm just going to see how how it works maybe it wants to be close to the light we'll see organizing and I love sharing it with you guys too so um, yeah I was thinking of doing minimalist Mondays maybe every week every Monday I could film uh, some kind of organization project with you or a declutter or kind of a revamp of an area or a closet clean out or something um, and do that like every Monday so I don't know what you guys think of that I don't I don't know if someone else is already doing that I mean I'm sure there's other minimalist Mondays out there kind of like a like a meatless Monday, you know? Let's let's start a thing, minimalist Mondays, and we do something in our life that helps simplify it and kind of lift weight of stuff off of us, you know? I've got a lot of different areas of my house that I'm gonna be working on, especially if we're gonna do minimalist Monday. Um, so I would like to hear what you guys wanna see with that too, because then I can kind of put that in order or prioritize uh, what you guys might wanna see first. I can do those earlier in in our projects so all right i'll let you guys go thank you so much for watching and i hope you have an awesome day an awesome weekend and i will see you again soon bye guys